information to help you run your business better and improve your marketing campaigns. My name is Hank Hoffmeyer, and thank you for joining me on Hank's Marketing and Business Tips. Welcome to episode 252 of the HMBT podcast. I was talking to someone the other day about leadership. And many people that are leaders, managers, or C-level, they've had the opportunity over the years to work with people in person and lately on video or virtually. What happens when younger folks that are in entry-level positions want to become leaders or they want to influence the workforce? I feel it'll be a little bit difficult to do virtually because you don't have the opportunity to be in front of people to walk over and just say hello to someone and help them get through their day, give them the knowledge that you have, collaborate on a project as easily, you know, that you basically can do it a lot easier in person, but it's a little bit harder virtually. I think you'll have to work harder if you want to become a team lead, a manager, a director, or any kind of position that includes leadership. And I wanted to point out a few tips. The first tip is set an example by what you're doing. People may watch and see what you're doing and want to emulate what you're doing and see that you're doing something positive, whether it's picking up a project or it's helping a customer or helping a manager. They see that you're doing that. You're putting in the extra work. They might see that and want to emulate that and your peers will see that as well as your manager, your director, your vice president might see that you are coming forward and trying to do the right things and setting an example to meet the goals of the organization. Uh, Another thing is to influence others and put out information on LinkedIn or any social channels you may have around what you do for a living so that people from the outside world see you as an influencer. And then also people in the organization see you as an influencer. Maybe they see that you're posting and they'll like, comment, and share your content, which is very helpful. Uh, Another thing is volunteer for projects. Don't just say, hey, what do you need me to do? Say, hey, I know this needs to be done. I'll take that on and I'll do that. That's a great way uh, to show that you are thinking about what needs to be done, what goals need to be met. Another thing is just to make sure that you're doing the things that help the organization grow meet goal and become profitable, retain clients, whatever that is. A lot of leaders, a lot of managers need to come up with those ideas. Maybe brainstorm some ideas and put them out there. Don't forget to reach out to people and have meetings with them one off and just say, hey, just wanted to catch up with you. I know you're working on this project. It kind of influences what I'm doing with this project. Let's catch up. In this virtual world, it'll be harder to be seen as an influencer, harder to be seen as a leader, and that ultimately will help decide whether or not you become a team lead, a manager, a director, and move up in the organization. If you own your own business, obviously it's a lot different. Uh, You are working virtually. You probably uh, need to just get more information out there around how you feel that your product or service can change things, uh, make somebody's life better, make their business better, make their business grow. Just keep doing what you're doing. You need to be just as visible as somebody that is entry level and say customer service or support, something like that. I hope these tips helped uh, and hopefully it helps you think about the new world that we're in 2021. It's going to be virtual still. What do we need to be doing virtually to be successful, to be an influencer, to be a leader, to be a successful business owner, a successful marketer? What does it mean to be working remote, to not be as in-person as we have been for a while? This episode has been very insightful for me. The conversation I had with the person around this topic was very insightful. And I just hope that you have a great finish to your year and then also a great start to 2021. If you want to hear previous episodes, head over to hankhoffmeyer.com slash Alexa. I'm on YouTube and also uh, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, wherever you consume your podcasts. Until next time, folks, get out there and influence somebody.